Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at stereo isomers. I have done lots and lots of other different videos on organic chemistry and all the different types of isomerism that you need to know. So once you finish this little video, you can go and check those out as well. There are many different types of isomerism and in this video we're going to be looking at stereo isomerism. So EZ and cis-trans which is a subset and then a little bit at the end about optical isomerism. I've made separate longer detailed videos about each of these types so if there isn't enough detail in this video go and check out the rest of this playlist where you'll find lots lots more. A stereo isomer is going to have the same molecular formula, it's going to have the same structural formula, so they can look very, very similar if not the same on paper, but it is going to have a different arrangement in space, and this different arrangement in space is going to give it different properties, different interactions, different boiling points, it has a big, big effect. So for EZ isomers, what we are looking at is a carbon-carbon double bond. And it really, really helps if you can redraw it. So you've got your carbon-carbon double bond in the middle here. And then we can think of each of these as different substituent groups. Now the way we work out um, whether it's an E or a Z isomer are based on Kahn ingold prelog rules. And what you need to do is to work out the... Um, priority of everything coming off the carbon and we do that based on the relative atomic mass so here is one group here is another group here is another group here is another group and this is our boxed in double bond here now if you look at relative atomic mass this has the highest mass so it's priority one this has the second highest mass so it's priority two here our priority three and then lowly hydrogen down here is priority four. Now our two highest priority groups are one and two, and they are on different sides of the double bond. So this is an E isomer. So here is a similar, but a slightly different example because I've moved the chlorine over. Here we can see that our two highest priority groups, our bromine and our chlorine, are on opposite sides of the double bond. So this is the E isomer. And here they are on the same side of the double bond. So this is our Z isomer. So here it is again for you. The E isomer, the highest priority groups, are on different sides. And the Z isomer, the highest priority groups, are on the same side. Cis-trans isomerism is a subset of EZ isomerism. Because generally this is going to have two hydrogen groups and two other groups. So here we have our highest priority groups. And it's easy here to work out the highest priority groups. Because it's not going to be hydrogen, like ever is going to be these bromines here. Now here they are on the same side. Now if they are on the same side, it is going to be a cis isomer. And if they are on different sides, it is going to be a trans isomer. Now the last one we need to know for our stereo isomers is optical isomerism. And this is where you have four different groups attached around a main central carbon. And these make mirror images of each other. And because they make mirror images of each other, it means they are non-superimposable. It's like trying to put your right hand into your left hand glove. They look the same, they kind of feel like they should fit. My toddler would tell you that they should fit. But when you actually try and do it, they have a different arrangement in space and again this different arrangement in space leads to lots and lots of differences with their um, interactions with other things with their properties the reason um, that there were so many problems with thalidomide is that because one optical isomer was dangerous whereas the other optical isomer had therapeutic properties